Alright, welcome back guys. Let's see what we're going to do about getting screwed by AJ Styles and Finn Balor. And, and let me get this right now. I get it. Money in the bank. Gotta do it. Thank you, Kurt. No, I want Finn. I understand AJ doing what he did, but there was no need for Finn to do what he did. Hey, you guys can care for Finn. I'm gonna make him pay. Yeah, you better get out the way. Sorry, get out of my ring. You don't deserve to be in here. Take that kick to the face. Mad Dog gotta be fuming after what happened. He understands AJ Styles going him over with that belt. But Finn Balor had no reason he was getting involved. Better be to get back inside this ring. Mad Dog's inside. Is Finn gonna make it? Oh, Mad Dog breaks the count. Oh, what a DDT outside the ring. They may be padding, but that isn't protecting for much. Three. Four. They're looking on. This is much about beating Finn Balor as it is about sending a message to AJ Styles. I doubt you're going to see him in a rush to put Finn Balor away. What a leg drop. I haven't seen Finn Balor get any offense going. My dog looks like a man to rest. Oh, just tosses AJ around. I mean, Finn Balor around like a rag doll out here. Tried his chance for Finn, but I don't know if he has a chance out here. Oh my goodness. All that weight on him. Oh, nice reversal by Finn. Ah. Oh my god, what power Finn Balor to pick him up like that. Oh, what a reversal. Oh! I'm gonna hit him with the signature move. This could be the beginning of the end for Bill. Oh man. Those ribs have gotta be hurting. Oh, he's up. This has gotta be the end. Oh. That's the rope. God, there's gotta be out. He's gotta go for the pin. Oh. Two. That's it! Bell has been defeated. It's a little bit Here is your winner, payback. Mad Dog!
AJ Styles better be holding on to that belt tight. They ain't gonna have it much longer. Oh man. Let's go to the ring. For the last couple of days, all I have heard, why, Jay? Why'd you do it? Why did you and Finn turn on Buzz? Well, it's simple. There would be no Buzz if it wasn't for me and Finn. He wouldn't have achieved anything without us. When he was on SmackDown, he used me to get to the top. He didn't beat Nakamura in the Dome in Japan. He stole it from me. He didn't beat John Cena in a submission match. He used the calf crusher that he begged me to teach him. Then when he came to Raw, he was lost without AJ. So he became my burden. I had to bail him out week after week. And I was the reason he found his inner demon. He would have never gotten past Bray Wyatt, let alone beat Braun Strowman for the Universal title if it wasn't for me. But did I get any credit? No. Then we put everything aside to help him take on evolution. And what do we get in return? Nothing. Do you see a trend here? It's always about Buzz. He gets the spotlight. He gets the credit. He gets the title shot. Not us. He was never going to give us anything. So we had to take it. Buzz. People love to rattle off all your so-called accomplishments and talk about how you have had the fastest rise in history to the top of WWE. Well, your biggest accomplishment is still to come when you main event WrestleMania and you lose to the phenomenal AJ Styles. And this time, there is no one to bail you out. You're all on your own. Yeah. The only friend he still has had his brain scrambled by Bray Wyatt and hasn't been seen since. So I don't think he'll be much help. No, he won't. Now, with that being said, I kind of figured that you people might not understand why we did what we did. So I arranged a very special guest tonight who can attest to everything I just said. Because Buzz selfishly used him to get to the top just like he did to us. So let's bring him out here. Ladies and gentlemen, Buzz's former mentor, Baron Blade. What? Why is he walking in like an old man? Thanks for coming so out quick. here tonight, Baron. Can you tell everyone how Buzz used you to get to the top? Then he left you a broken man. I mean, he cost you everything, didn't he? No one will work with you anymore. You've lost your indie promotion, your house. All because of Buzz. Wow. That's not exactly how everything went down, AJ. I was the one who attacked Buzz after his tryout match and cost him his shot at WWE. None of that other stuff would have happened if I hadn't done that. Uh, hold on. What are you saying? Don't you want to talk about all the terrible things Buzz did to you? I mean, how he left your life in shambles? I'm sorry, but I can't stand out here and bury my former protege. Not a day goes by where I don't wish that I could take back my actions, and honestly, I deserve everything that's happened to me because of it. I didn't buy you a plane ticket so you could come out here and tell everyone how great Buzz is. This wasn't the deal we had.
If I had told you how I really felt, I would have never gotten this opportunity to speak the truth. What you and Finn Balor did to Buzz was far worse than anything I did. At least I had good intentions. So I just want to say I couldn't be prouder of everything Buzz has accomplished. And I can't wait to see him beat you at WrestleMania and take back his universal title. Yeah, three. I think I've heard just about enough out of you. But you better run your cowards. Don't attack him. He messed up, but forgive him. He really suffered all the consequences. I mean, I kind of became famous. So sweet. AJ's gonna pay. AJ's gonna pay so hard. You might be wondering why Finn is out here with a gift. Well, it's not for me. It's actually for someone we had some battles with recently. No, it's not for Buzz either. His gift is coming at WrestleMania Evolution. when I give him the gift of defeat. This present is actually for Triple H. So Triple H, if you wouldn't mind, come on out here so we can give this to you. I just want to say, we may have had some differences recently. But that was due to being caught up in Buzz's selfishness. We have clear heads now, right Finn? Much clearer. So just to make sure we're cool, we got you this gift. Go ahead, take it. Is he going to be the special guest referee? We even cut off the sleeves so you can show off your guns. What's this all about? Well, we were thinking, since you really don't like Buzz, and we're positive you want to do everything in your power to guarantee he doesn't get the universal title, you could be the special guest referee at WrestleMania. So what do you think? <laughs> I think that's a great idea. All right. Yes. <laughs> I kind of feel really special that they're gonna... It must look pretty bad for me right now, huh? Like I've got no chance with Finn Balor on the outside and with Triple H on the inside? Well, that's where you're wrong. Because at WrestleMania, I'm not gonna be on my own. I'm gonna have someone in my corner to even the odds, to watch my back. And that man? is Baron Blade. <clears throat> oh. 
okay, that was that was short lived. That was that was very anticlimactical. Oh man. WrestleMania. It's gonna be amazing to see how I win this match. I got the ref against me, and I got two guys on the outside. Well, one guy on the outside, but let's be honest, he might as well be in the match. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Yeah, other than some nerves. I've wrestled on some big shows this past year, but never in front of this many people. Hey. What did I tell you when you were nervous before your WWE tryout? All that matters is the ring's the same size. Exactly! You remembered! Any other advice for me? No, I mean, the only thing I have left to say is... Thanks. For what? For everything. <laughs> for forgiving me, for letting me back into your life. Look, we don't need to get in all that right now, Baron. All that's in the past. I know, but if it wasn't for our past, we wouldn't be here tonight. And it's unbelievable that we are. I'll be honest, when you first got to my wrestling school, I didn't think you would amount to very much at all. Thanks. But you worked hard and proved me wrong. And after your dad, well, I made it my mission to help you realize your potential. I just got too wrapped up in everything, and your dreams became my dreams, and I started living through you instead of for you. But this is your night tonight. This is about your boyhood dream, and I will do everything in my power to help make that dream a reality. That really means a lot. But seriously, let's save any tears for after I win my title back, okay? Okay, <laughs> deal. Hey. How about a BCW handshake for old times' sake? Uh, I don't know if I remember how to do it. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened to Cole? Like, did he run away and die? Like... Oh, Triple H is gonna screw me. So I know hard. what it's like to face long odds at WrestleMania. Four years ago, I had to beat Triple H just to have a chance to face Randy Orton and Batista later that night for the championship. But I walked away with the title. And I know it sounds cliche, but that just proved that anything is possible. So multiply that feeling you had watching me by 10 million, and that's how you'll feel tonight if you can pull this off. <sighs> Don't even think about that. Just focus on doing the impossible. I've seen you do it before, and I know you can do it again tonight. Aww. Thanks, Daniel. It feels so good to have your confidence. Look, as a GM, I'm supposed to be impartial. <clears throat> but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't rooting for you to win tonight. Of course, no one has ever risen to the top of WWE faster than you did. You even managed to top my rookie year, and that's saying a lot. You had a minor setback losing the title to AJ, but it was a cheap attack. Tonight, you're ready. Damn straight. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. <laughs> nice. Let's talk to Jackass Joe over here. <laughs> Any chance you're going to call a fair match tonight? Yeah, no, that's not possible. All right, let's go. Let's get this over with. Let's do this. Oh, man. It's going to be crazy.
wrestling the following the other day. contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. Oh, I got the van. It's all crispy fried. That is awesome. That is crazy. Coming out in the van. I'm going to skip this in a second, but that's still, that is definitely awesome to come out in the van. AJ Styles come out and see if Triple H comes out too or if he just is there. Yeah, no, Triple H is just out there. Alright, let's do this. Introducing the challenger. From Pawtucket, Rhode Island, weighing in at 321 pounds, Mad Dog. I'm so corny looking. <laughs> Introducing the champion. Oh, that's good. We can skip this. Let's go. All right, let's not act like you're going to say like the golden rule here. Oh, nice, AJ. AJ stops with the reversal. Then Mad Dog just smacked him off the back of the head a few times. Oh, what a kick! Um, okay. Oh, what a chop to the back of the neck. Twisting his neck right off. Triple H over there showing his guns. Oh, what a neck snap that was. Leg drop. And here comes Bella. Oh, Baron Lee just knocks him off the rope. Pele kick. Maybe these dogs is up. He's too busy twenty to even see him. This is not the time. Easy kick out. I'm surprised there wasn't a faster count by Triple H. Walks around right there. Oh, he's on the second rope. He hits this. Oh, that's a lot of weight to land on AJ. Oh, he's going for his signature. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, dropping off 300 plus pounds on his back. His ribs and kidneys gotta be hurting now. Oh, he's got his finisher. Why did he pit him? What is he doing? Oh, what a kick. Going for the pin. Three, two, three, he won! Oh my god, he won the match! He overcame the odds! Well, that was a little anticlimactic, guys, I'm just gonna lie. It should have been...
Triple H does not want to hand him that belt. Is this going to be one of those moments? Yes! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. What's going to happen next? Whoa! Triple H is showing him respect. You got to shake his hand, bro. You got to shake his hand. Such a touching story. Oh wow, that's the end, huh? I'm not going to watch all that stuff. Nice. Alright, that's going to probably be it, I'm guessing. I can't picture there be anything more. You finished your career. Nice. Alright, well, I'm not going to bother wasting you guys' time showing your side stuff. Um, I'll probably get into some exhibition stuff later on. I want to break the ring, break the cage, stuff like that. So, again, I really appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.